In this short video, I'm going to share with you an idea to improve your listening that's challenging, but worth the effort. When's the last time that you recall going into a conversation bothered by something that had happened earlier in the day? Probably wasn't that long ago because we lead stressful lives. There's a lot of anxiety and stress in the air. Unfortunately, while productivity may be up in some circles, well-being is down in most circles. If you're experiencing that, then you might have an issue with being completely clear in your mind when you go into a conversation. So here's the idea. It's called compartmentalization. Compartmentalization is when you take whatever has happened previous to the conversation you're about to enter and put it in a drawer and close that drawer. Just tuck it away for now. So you have to consciously think about what's rattling around in your mind before you go into this conversation with a new person. Is it a personal conversation? Is it a professional conversation that recently happened? Or is it a looming conversation that you need to have that you've been putting off? Is that swirling around in your mind? That's going to happen. Our minds are just busy devices that can't stop thinking about the past and the future while we're living in the present. But when you use compartmentalization, it is the ability to decide, I'm going to put those out of my mind for now. I can always think about them later, but right now, I want to be completely focused on the conversation that I'm about to have. And it's a conscious decision. You probably won't subconsciously make this decision because it's not natural. It's natural to dwell on thoughts. So make the conscious decision to compartmentalize before you go into your next conversation and practice it. Practice, practice, practice in order to get better and better at this. And you'll start to find that you're able to use this idea and that will immediately improve your focus on the person that you're meeting with and your ability to comprehend what they're trying to tell you, the message that they're trying to get across. I hope you've enjoyed this video to help you improve your listening skills right away. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in the series and apply them diligently one by one. Don't rush the process. Improving your listening takes time, and trying to do too many different things at once will just make it more difficult. If at any time you'd like to assess your listening skill, I'd be happy to issue you a learning to listen assessment. There is a small fee associated with it, but you'll find that the report includes many ideas besides the ones that you've heard of in this video series to improve your listening. So if you're really serious about it, consider taking this proactive step. And of course, if you would like to have coaching around the results of the report, then that's available too. I wish you the best of success in improving your listening this year to improve your professional and personal relationships.